What's up y'all, this is Be Your Boy Scotty and you're watching yet another video from me, Mrs. Steele, standing only on YouTube. Um, y'all, my head is kind of spinning. I had like four big ass cups of vodka last night and I was fucked up as hell. And it is what it is, but um, yeah. I just woke up not too long ago, so I need to try to take care of this mini hangover that I got. But uh, this video is not going to be long. This is on the My Wife's My Wife Chicago. And this is the first episode. And I'm mainly going to be talking about the people in general, why, what I think about them, why I dislike them, why I like them, whatever. And some of the things that ticked me off when I watched it. Because it came on last night, but I was out having drinks. So, I just watched it a minute ago. Like, a minute ago. Oh, I did be on. So, uh, I'm going to start off with Christina. Christina's kind of the heavy set chick. Um, I don't necessarily have a problem with her, um... I know that she always be down for the battle and she always be ready to bang and all that stuff and that's probably why I like her like she's like she keep it real in my opinion like she don't be down for the bang bang bullshit just like the whole thing with Pia and Nora like she wasn't down with that and I wasn't down for that either but I'm gonna talk about that later but that's why um I, I kind of like Christina I didn't really you know they didn't really show that much of her this on this episode but she seems like a loyal cool person that's you know that's what she gives me Renee I don't like that bitch I feel like she's a judgmental ass bitch she always worried about what somebody did in their past life and wants to use it against them or she worried about what somebody daddy did in their past life and always want to use it against them like what type of shit is that bitch like I don't understand and I just think that she just needs to get over herself. Because how the fuck you gonna judge somebody about what the fuck they did when you, when, when bitch, your baby daddy is a murderer who's serving life in prison. So how you gonna judge a bitch for stripping who trying to provide for their damn child like they the scum of the earth? Didn't you fuck some scums of the earth? Isn't your uncle the scum of the earth? You know, isn't that what this show is about? Motherfuckers that was scums on the fucking earth. Like, who are you to judge somebody? And then, I just feel like she trying too hard to be a bitch. And she really needs to stop it. She already ugly. I mean, ugh. It's just... She just thinks she better than everybody. And you know how I feel about motherfuckers that think they better than people. Bitch, don't do it. Because you ain't shit. And I got a feeling that if... My watch Chicago don't end up being boring and don't end up being whack and then I continue to do reviews. I'm going to be shitting on Renee on every fucking video. So be ready. Pia, I like Pia. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And it's probably because she's the underdog. I like Pia. She don't give me no problems. I mean, yeah, she chose the bad path for stripping and all of this stuff. But she's doing it to provide for her children. And when a, when a bitch trying to provide, they got to do whatever the fuck they can. And you know, stripping might not be the first thing that might be on, on my list for a female to be doing. But I respect her for being real about it and not being ashamed of it. I mean, do she like stripping? No, but she doing it for her kids. Her kids got to eat some kind of way. And if she got to do what she got to do, she got to do what she got to do. I'm not saying that, you know, stripping is, is, is the ideal occupation because you know I think a lot of women if they if they um if they had a choice and they could do better they would not choose stripping so in my opinion you know what I'm saying she was just doing what she got to do and I just don't think nobody has the right to judge anyone just because they're a fucking stripper do I think that stripping is you know cool for a woman to be doing all the time hell no but I would never judge a bitch for stripping I would never do that because I'm not in a position to be judging nobody my damn self so Renee shouldn't even be judging Pia and not only is she judging Pia for being a fucking stripper she judging Pia because Pia's father was a fucking rat who gives a fuck if he was a rat or not you know what I'm saying like that don't have nothing to do with 
Pia. Like, Pia didn't ask to be here, and Pia didn't ask for that to be her damn father. And she already feel bad enough that he was a damn rat. So, bitch, have a seat. I don't like Renee, but I like Pia. Nora, I don't like Nora. Number one, I thought I was going to like her at the beginning, but now I don't. After watching the full episode, I don't like Nora. Why? First of all, she's already a cuckoo ass bitch. Number two, she's a lying, she was, she's a lying ass, two-faced ass bitch. You know, her and, her and Pia have been friends for 15 years, basically since 96. And she's known Renee for some years too. And she knows that Renee doesn't like Pia. So when she had lunch with Renee or whatever, Renee's sitting up here popping out and shit on Pia. And I would think that if Pia was really Nora's friend like Nora says she is, then Nora would have tried to defend Pia and be like, look, I don't need to hear about this. I don't want to know about this. I don't need to hear about this. You know what I'm saying? So I just don't think that, you know, she's a good friend to anybody. I think, I personally think that Nora is a cuckoo fake ass bitch. That's what I think. And I don't like her. And if Pia knew any better, she wouldn't even be fucking with her. And you know, Pia had already just found out from a cousin of hers that Nora was talking shit about her and calling her a whore while she was drunk. And you know, even though Nora said that it wasn't true, I believe it was. Because she had just got through talking about Renee, you know what I'm saying? I mean, just got through talking about her to Renee earlier in the damn show. So I believe she really was talking about Pia and Pia forgave her. You know, Christina was pissed off about that. And you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, because Pia came to her in confidence about it, about whatever. You know, she decided that she needed to be a part of it. And she called Nora out and she called Pia out. And, you know, she beat Pia ass too. And I sure hate it for Pia, but Christina beat Pia ass, baby. And the last person is Leah. I actually like Pia. I mean, Leah. Damn, these names are too similar. Leah. Um, Leah wasn't really shown that much either. But I believe that Leah is going to be the fan favorite. That's what I think. I think Leah's going to be the fan favorite because she's just a bitch that really don't give a fuck. And she like fat niggas and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I like the way she talked to. Is she a bad bitch? So, I honestly think that Leah be about what she be talking about. At least I hope she is. For me to be big and up the way I am in this fucking video, I will hope that she is about what she be talking about, to be honest. But, um... You know, I think as I was introducing the characters of the show, I think I was talking about certain shit that was going on. But um, I'm a, it's it's some messages popped in my head that went on in this within the show. Renee's daughter, um, Gianna, her father that I already mentioned is in jail for life for murdering somebody, and. It, Renee doesn't want her daughter to have anything to do with him. But Renee, Renee's daughter, what Gianna wants Renee to understand is that, you know, Renee always talked about how her father wasn't in her life. So she would think that Renee would understand, but Renee don't give a fuck. Renee just don't want her to have nothing to do with her damn daddy because he's a murderer. And that brings me back to Renee being a judge, little bitch. You knew he was what he was when you fucked him. So now that he in jail for life, you don't want your daughter to have nothing to do with him. And I mean, it ain't shit that her daughter can do to her now or do for her now. Here he in jail. So you could at least let her go visit her damn um, father. You know what I mean? So, you know, Renee is just a judgmental ass bitch. And I don't like her ass. And I, like I said, I already, I already know that I'm not gonna like her and I'm gonna be shitting on her. She gonna be my main target this whole video. Just like Chrissy was my main topic for love and hip hop. Just like um, Jennifer was my main topic for the basketball wise. I mean, just like Tamar was my damn top topic target for um, Braxton Family Values. I always have this one bitch that I don't like for every fucking reality show. But um, that's all I really got to say about My Why Chicago. It's a pretty decent episode. Um, it was much better than what the trailer um, put out there because the trailer made it look like a bunch of tryhards and like it was some whack shit. But oh, all in all, the first episode was good. Now, I'm not going to speak too soon right now because you know what I'm saying. It's just the first episode, but I'm not going to speak too soon. Um, tonight is the Basketball Wives um, reunion final part. As well as the Real Housewives in New York City. And I think the New Jersey Housewives came on yesterday. But um, it's coming on again tonight. So, you know. I, I was asked to do reviews on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So, I will be doing reviews on that. Now, you know what I'm saying. 
before I go. I just want to send a special shout out to um, my people. Forest Rocks, Closet Freak, Kwan's World One, The Boy Dashy, and Guys at Brunch. Much love from KY. Ashley Shy Miller. Ooh, hope I ain't forgetting nobody. Ashley Shy Miller. Um, who else, Lord? Who else? Because I know I stay forgetting. Stay forgetting somebody. Um, love for Angie B, the creator um, of the Rainbow Connection. Um, Delicious Queen 83 and I think that's just about it. Um, I also want to send a special shout out to this chick that I just ran across on YouTube and, and if y'all watch her make sure y'all let her know that I shout her out. Her name is I'm the Realist and um, I just subscribed to her channel and she is bananas. She's a, um, I think she's from California and I just love the way she talks. So um, I put her in my feature channels as well. So if y'all never heard of the um, the realist, make sure y'all check her out. And you guys, I'm over 950 subscribers, so I'm half I'm halfway there to a thousand. So be sure y'all you know point people in my direction. So I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.